So if you're going to get into freelance, you have to have some valuable skills. The biggest mistake you can do is go in there with a skill set where it only takes you one week to learn, and then use it. you're going to jump in assuming that you're going to be able to make any value. If you don't have valuable skills, you might as well go work at Starbucks or something. So what are valuable skills? Skills that take a little bit more than a couple of months to learn. Sorry if you want to make that kind of money, unless you're like a natural salesperson. I get all these offers to do my HTML emails or to edit my video, which they're just going to use AI anyway. These are low rent skills. These are skills that anybody as neighbor could offer. And it's just, it's, it's, it's going to be a bad road for you. It's going to be a bad road for you. So what you have to do is work on valuable skills, whether you go to school for uh, a trade or become a, a lawyer or a computer scientist or something, or you can learn to code. You can learn to code on your own. You uh, go through the foundations, you learn how to build responsive websites, learn the basics of the full stack, be able to put up an e-commerce uh, shop, be able to work with PayPal or Stripe, have value so that the small business owner can use you, right? These are skills that will take you several months to learn and develop before you can get your first gig. You don't have to be a master at it, but you just have to be competent. From there, you can build up your skill set and build up your freelance business. But if you think you're going to get into the game with a skill set that takes two weeks to learn, as I say, go work at uh, Starbucks.